The Nichols baseball team started the season red hot. After taking the first series of conference play at Abilene Christian, the squad returned to Ray E. Didier Field to face one of the league's top contenders. The club hosted Texas A&M Corpus Christi in a three-game set this past weekend. The Islanders came in with an 8-5 mark and were opening up the Southland portion of their schedule. Bad weather forced a doubleheader on Saturday. Game 1 was a pitching duel through five innings with Colonel righty Mark Frazier striking out six. But the Islanders busted it open and Nichols couldn't get the bats going in a 7-0 loss. The momentum from the first game would be an advantage for the Islanders. The Red and Gray struggled all day to get the offense going, registering only two hits in the nightcap. The Colonels would fall 4-0. Corpus Christi was picked to finish second in the Southland Conference, and facing them early on in the season might be the thing that helps this young squad come together. We've got to be playing our best baseball right now anyway, so uh, the speed of our game matters. You know, fighting against the top teams in the league is important. we got to make sure we continue to get better every time out. It, 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 just getting back out there is important, but these guys need ABs. They need game time. Our pitchers need game time. We're still working at chemistry right here, but it is coming, and I'm excited to see that. The Colonels would come out swinging in Sunday's finale. They jumped to a first inning lead after a Kyle Reese double score Justin Holt. Right-hander Justin Cimbaldi pitched seven scoreless innings for Nichols, fanning six. The Islanders battled back late, but a walk-off bunt single by Alex Shermer won it for the Colonels. The squad hadn't played a game in a week due to the rain in Thibodeau. While it may have taken a toll on the Colonels, it wouldn't be enough to keep them down for long. The speed of the game gets away from you when you stay away from it for seven days. And it was a lot of indoor stuff this week, a lot of stuff off the field this week, and so that was a little frustrating. And it took us a little bit to get going, and, uh, you know, it set us back. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Our club's going to bounce back from that, from a tough day yesterday. And with a big win like this, you have no idea what that can do for your club.